clearly I have to update my, uh, my automated messages. If the Twitch one said I was playing OpenTTD and the Twitter one said I was in Toronto. Are you planning on visiting Brainport Eindhoven? Yeah, at some point in time. See, th th so this is the problem, right? This is typical painted bicycle gutter. Well, maybe not typical, it's wider than what you find in other places, but just like anywhere else, you get delivery vehicles parked in the bike lane. When are you going to have a video on how to speak Dutch? Why would I do such a thing? <laughs> that is painted asphalt, not colored. I believe so, yes. It, there is a seam at the edge of it, I think it is. Uh, sorry, colored asphalt, not painted. So it's not the drivers who are better in the Netherlands, it's the infrastructure that tames them. That is completely correct, yes. Drivers in the Netherlands are horrific. Yeah, that's really not true at all. Drivers everywhere in bad infrastructure are horrific. Drivers in the Netherlands are actually the most patient drivers I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's unbelievable how long they will wait behind a delivery van or a cyclist without losing their frickin' minds. It's amazing. I mean, as you can see, this infrastructure just really doesn't work. But anyway, we just passed some art, which was the point of this. So I'm gonna spin around and check out what we're missing. Canta. Yeah, so I think this is probably where art so would start, somewhere around here. This is the VAR end of the exhibit, so <sighs> let's see what kind of quality they put out here. Is this actually part of Arts Out? I don't see... I don't see any Arts Out plaque on it. The fact that you can talk and be heard next to the road shows how quiet it is. That's true. They, here in Germany, they paint new bicycle gutters everywhere. They say it's safer than fully separated because when cars turn right, they actually see you. That is a load of bullshit. Um, protected bicycle lanes can be dangerous for right turning only if the intersections are designed wrong. It starts at Beethovenstraat. No, that's definitely not true. It, it, it comes out here, I think. Actually, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe it doesn't come out this far. I don't know. I never get out this far. That I don't Hey, doggo. This is not a piece of art, out. It's been here for a while. I think you're right. All right, so let's get to Beethovenstraat then. I was on the right track before. Yeah, it's until October 17th. That's why we're here today, so that we don't miss it, because it's October 15th today.
Lovely weather today, yes. It is lovely weather today. That's why I wanted to come out here, get some fresh air and exercise. I would know where Arts Out started if I hadn't lost my map of it. Can you comment on the availability and safety of bike parking there? I mean, availability is everywhere. Safety is in numbers, I think. Your bicycle is only as safe as if it's harder to steal than the one next to it. I mean, there's lots of bike parking there to the right. This is Apollo Hall, which is a sports hall. Yeah, so there is a bunch of, a bunch of statues out here, but these are not part of out, Arts Out. Here is where it starts. And if I hadn't lost my map, I could have started here instead of riding all the way into Revierenberg. But hey, we got to ride down Churchill Line and see what old bad infrastructure looks like. Okay. Startpunkt Nervalan. Apollo Lan Nervalan, Churchill Lan, Sauda, Stadion Plan, Museum Plan. It says Churchill Lan. There must be something out in Revierenberg, but we didn't see it. Do you see lots of speed pedal X in Amsterdam? Not, no, not really. Because um, speed pedal X aren't allowed in the feet pod, so I, I very rarely see them, maybe once a month at most. All right, let's see what we got here. And you can keep track of uh, what you think of the art. Maybe give a score out of 10. I'm gonna check the stream and see how it appears online. On the left is a war memorial from the Dutch thanking the Canadians. Yeah, there are several of those around. Is it allowed to ride in the sidewalks? No. Are you grabbing footage for a video? And no, I am not today. Because my, I've got a couple of videos in the works right now. Both of them are about, more about roads and driving. Seven out of 10, eh? All right, moving on. I'll try to keep moving here, but I'm just trying to look at how things look online, because while we're doing this stream, the other reason for doing it is that I'm testing the new equipment. So I'm, part of the reason why I wanted to do the art so that I could stop every so often, give you something interesting to look at while I check the stream stats. Here we go. There's no need for driving on the sidewalks in the Netherlands. That's, that's really true, Eck. Unless, unless you're going to a parking spot. Oops. Just gonna check some stream stats here.
can't really see that well on stream, can you? It's really dark. I apped you a photo of the Arts Out map. Thanks, Mrs. NJB. Hey, Rob Rankin. Nice that you're joining me today. <laughs> Jade, I'll get a bunch of apps from people. Let me just check. And my wife sent me a map of Arts Out. Yeah, there was stuff there along Churchill Lawn that we missed. Oh well, whatever. I knew it, I knew it went out there. I really wish I hadn't lost the map that I paid um, three euros for. Stream is perfect. That's good to hear. I should hope so. Now that I'm using a live view solo, it better be. Otherwise, I spent way too much money. We gotta spend that Patreon money on something, I guess. So this is Apollo Lawn. This is a beautiful street. I mean, it's just stunning in every way. It also happens to be the most expensive housing per square meter in all of Amsterdam. The houses off to the right, not right on Apollo Lawn, but there's a, there are side streets off of this and they back onto the canal. So the houses are large detached homes and they have access to the canal with your own dock and boat. He came here from Twitter looking for Strodes, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna get on my bike, this is ridiculous. Ain't got time for that. Um, yeah, the Twitter automated post still says I'm in Toronto. Gotta fix that. All right, what do we got next? Who's this guy? I'm just gonna see if I can get into the shade so that the sun doesn't wash it out as much as it was doing before. Could fund the missus her coffee addiction with a Patreon income? Oh, unfortunately, no. Uh, I don't make that much money off of YouTube. Just gonna check the stream online now. Most of those houses are offices for lawyers. Yeah, I find that the really big homes like this, I know that people like to talk about the expats and everything, but I find these days they're still owned by wealthy Dutch people who bought them years ago. But I imagine that's going to change over time. Signal drop reconnecting. Uh-oh. Okay. I think that happened because I was adjusting the camera. What do we got here? They'll come around the other side because it looks like you're supposed to look at it from this way. So what do we think of the Tin Man? That's true for most houses though. They were owned by people who bought them a long time ago when they were cheaper. Yeah, that's correct. Are the pedestals permanent? Nope. I saw them installing them. They are concrete, but they're not permanent. This is where all the good stuff is. Do you plan to do a video about Dutch zoning laws? Yeah, it's at some point in time, but um, yeah, Dutch zoning laws are not that different from most countries. It's, it's the US and Canada that they are, are the odd ones out. Okay, now we got something interesting. This is made of pots and pans and a kitchen sink. Tell me, is this thing called everything including the kitchen sink? We got a message signal drop. Well, it wasn't. Yeah, um, the signal drop message is if the bit rate goes too low. 
And the reason why I, um, eight out of 10, best one yet. The reason why I leave, uh, leave the image playing is sometimes it's still watchable when the signal drops and other times it's not. This one is by Tirzo Martha. It's called The Interpretation and Identification of the Meaning of Life 2021. Zero out of 10, don't see a tap. One pan is already stolen. <laughs> it looks that way, but I don't see how you would do that. That would be very creative. All right, back on the bike. This is Beethovenstrat. And this is a guy with a, his head up his ass. Here, your money back for that map. Thanks so much, Castardo. This place is beautiful. It's so many trees and green space. Yeah, it really is. This is a stunningly beautiful place. We used to live not too far from here where we were renting when we first got to the Netherlands, but uh, it's horrendously expensive here. What is the deal with the, what is this supposed to be? This guy like had his head down his pants, I guess. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, moving on. Where we can start to see the really big stuff. <laughs> like this woman with a gold elephant head. Let's check it out. Ah, oh, come on. I'm going to miss my left turn here, right? So here's how I'm supposed to make a left turn. I have this little turning box and I can press the button if I want. You don't have to. There are loops in the ground. The button is only there if it doesn't detect your bike. You're reacting to chat about one minute later. Uh, that's possible. I might not have uh, low latency on. It could also be that that's finally when I get around to reading the chat though. Let's get back over there to the median. I'm pretty sure this one's always here. This is not part of Arts Out. G wagon on the courtyard of that house, definitely not a poor family. No, there are. Um, there are not poor families in this neighborhood. And you know, the Netherlands often has social housing mixed in, but there's a very, very little social housing in this neighborhood. Um, and here you can see like massive renovations happening because these are detached homes. horrendously ex expensive detached homes. But as I said, oh, they got a map. You can see more of those storage containers and stuff because all of these homes are being renovated. All right, here's another one. What do you make of that? Are you going to pickpocket their map? Yes. <laughs> uh, let me just see the settings here and make sure that, uh, I, I don't know if I can change the, uh, the latency on the chat. I actually don't know how far behind I am, but I think there is generally a latency going on here. 
because uh, I go through my computer at home so that I can add the map and the logo and the street names and stuff. So that one was called, the tin foil was by John Wang, and it's called 45 Degrees Artificial Rock. Very descriptive. What do we got here? Let's see if I can read the name as we're coming up to it. By Arnie Quinza, Lupine Sculpture. Nice. Moving on. There's a lot to see. So far, the stream seems to be holding up. Streamlabs is annoying. Yes, I agree. I really need to disable Streamlabs, but I'll do that when I get home. It's got nothing on lupine sculpture. <laughs> nice. Just gonna check my camera here. Looks a little crooked. Gotta love the upgrade. Stream is perfect. Thanks, yeah. It does seem a little crooked, doesn't it? Why is that? I like this one where they preemptively make it look like pigeons shot all over it. Do those houses come with a box feeds? <laughs> yeah, you get a free urban arrow with every purchase. Maybe we get some sunglasses for the camera when filming into the light. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're missing the good part of this one. There we go. Ah, uh, you're on Art Zode, that's correct. <laughs> All right, what's next? I'm gonna ride a little bit. Let's see if the camera changes I made make any difference. All right, what do we got here? I don't like it when they put the nameplate way the heck over on the other side instead of by the art itself, but I'm not going over there. It's not crooked, it's a Dutch angle. Correct, Custardo. Cam is a bit tilted to the left. That is correct, it is. Love the YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Milbrandt. I mean, the other reason it could be tilted is because I'm standing with my bicycle so that I could tilt it this way or I could tilt it this way. I need to determine how much is fundamentally tilted and how much is because I'm screwing around with a bicycle without its kickstand. Is image stabilization on? You betcha. This is an interesting one. It 
shaking when you ride, yeah. Some of that might be unavoidable, but uh, I'll have to see. Let me actually see. Good point. I was looking at that as I was riding up. It's a little bit delayed on YouTube, so I can watch what I just did. I'm going to check to see what the image stabilization is set at. It is, yeah, it is on, but maybe it's because I have the wide field of view, which doesn't stabilize as much as the, uh, as the narrower fields of view. because I'm filming in 4K, it won't let me do any other film field of view. I'm a little bit concerned how easy it is to shake this camera mount the way it is right now. So that might be something to improve in the future, but it's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, I think that could be improved. That's a little better already, but I'll look into that, good. It's got a door on the side. I don't know if you can see that on the stream. I assume it doesn't open, but let's find out. Feels like it was gonna, and then it doesn't. Interesting. crossing over there this time. I'm going to try to cross right here. Have you been to Australia? If so, where? Yes. Uh, only to Sydney, though. And some areas around it. here. Are these camels? They are camels. Camels on stilts. Let's see what it's called. I'll swing by the nameplate this time. I'd go the way of physical gimbal. No, that doesn't work unless you handheld hold it. You can't, uh, you can't attach a gimbal to a bicycle and get it to work properly. Jean-Marie Aprio, the big traveler, the big watcher. The big camels. BTW, jaywalking isn't a thing in the Netherlands. Yes, I know that, but I still don't want to get hit by cars. All right, camels, moving on. Is Sydney closer to Canada or the Netherlands in terms of urban planning? Sydney is almost exactly like Toronto. They, like when I got there, I was like, I feel like I could be in a part of Toronto I haven't been to before. Like it literally felt exactly the same. Which I thought was weird to be on the opposite side of the earth and be somewhere that looked identical to where I was living. We have a very small Statue of Liberty. Except driving on the left, yes. It's called Liberty for All. And it's tough to tell in statue form, but I think it's supposed to be a black woman as the Statue of Liberty. Got some heads. And the heads are called 100 heads, which I feel is false advertising when there are clearly less than 100.
This guy's seen better days. He's missing part of his torso. Why are the ones on the left facing away from the path? That is a good question. They are all facing the same direction. The Statue of Liberty was indeed a model of a black woman by Eiffel. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. It looked that way, but it's tough to tell in a statue. The Australian animated movie Mary and Max had cars driving on the left in NYC, that's funny. Okay, we're really getting into the heart of it now. And I'm going to take a tea break. Incidentally, I just watched an old video, uh, a video re recently saying old Roman statues had colors painted on them. That is correct. Yeah, I remember seeing that quite a long time ago at the British Museum, I think it was. They had some of them that uh, were painted. The only thing, um, and that is absolutely true, they were painted. The, the thing I don't like, though, is when um, you see images of what they would have looked like painted, the painting job is really poor. Like, from my understanding, the painting would have been exquisite, like the same as a master's painting you'd find on a canvas which would have made them look nicer than what you see in images today but yes they were all painted they were not white i think the dutch should send a new statue of liberty in north america a woman on a bike <laughs> oh we missed one back here i was too busy getting to the green people that i missed this woman over here with shapes on her head Thoughts on people trying to use helicopters like a taxi, typically the rich. Just not a good idea at all. Have you ever been to Berlin? I live there and hate it. I have been to Berlin many times, actually. I always kind of liked it, but I liked it for the, like, the grunginess of it, the rave scene and that kind of thing. Yeah, I think we're going to end up missing some because we missed another one back there, whatever that thing is. It's just pretty wacky looking. It looks like an alien egg. You were make me want to move to the Netherlands. Yeah, sorry, that's a side effect of the channel. Um, it's not a lot I can do about it. This art is here all the time, I think. This thing, and you can't really see it because it's too big. These guys are wacky. Don't come here, we already have a housing crisis. Well, that's not unique to here. It's even worse in Canada. How many Dutchies watch your channel? Um, it's way less than it used to be. I haven't checked it recently, but last I checked it was around 20% uh, of the audience was from the Netherlands. So it's way less than it used to be. I think it actually might be down below 10% these days because the strong town stuff has really taken off with Americans. And then I get lots of angry people. Here you go. Roman and Greek statues weren't white, they were painted. Here's how they were painted. There's shit all over them. What, I expected most of your viewers to be Dutch. No, that hasn't been true for a very long time. How come there are bags on benches occasionally? I don't know. Somebody leaving their shit behind, I guess. Uh, 
All right, moving on. We got a gymnast here. So, this is annoying. The, the, the little plaque is over there, but the art is over here. But I guess you're supposed to look at it from afar. I don't know, but I'll come look at it after. We got our wacky gymnast here. <laughs> yes. Uh, is uh, you working with two, two elephants? Uh, well, I'm live streaming it to Twitch and YouTube right now. Great. So I'm showing people the art. Uh, Great. Yes. Good job. You're a station here in Amsterdam or visiting? I live here, yeah. Great. Yeah. So you're a... Uh, what about the chemo trails? Do you know anything about it? Which is uh, decorating our sky all day long? It really just has to do with uh, the moisture in the air and the temperature of the engines. Who told you that? I am an uh, engineer. Well, what a moisture. That's what clouds are? Moisture in the air? Right, they're creating clouds. Yes. It's physics. Keeps believing. <laughs> All right. Not case there, gotta get away from her. She's probably not vaccinated either. Okay. How do you meet somebody and within 20 seconds start asking them about chemtrails? Okay, um, I like this one. So my parents had a version of The Thinker uh, in our house at home when I was growing up. And there's the modern version of The Thinker. reading the chat. Oh my god. So this is very cool. I like this one. The thinker done as an astronaut sitting on a rock. Like, I legit like this. 10 out of 10 would, would stream again. What's your favorite meal at a typical Dutch snack bar? I like bitterballen. But I usually just end up getting frites special. Preferably with red onions if they have it. this one from here? No. I need glasses. I broke my glasses and haven't got new ones. There's definitely a good lag coming to YouTube. I'll have to see if I can reduce that. Although lag is inevitable because I'm going to be taking from the camera and encoding it in the live view. Well, decoding it from the camera. I guess not decoding, it's HDMI. Encoding it into the live view and then sending it to my computer at home, which then sends us to Restream, which then sends it to Twitch and YouTube. Have you been stream sniped yet? No. I do discourage that, though.
YouTube is now lagging behind Twitch two seconds. That, that does happen though. Uh, you know, Twitch is just better at streaming than YouTube is. I see that all the time with um, streamers who multi-stream. Actually, can it tell me how many people are here based on platform? Because I remember seeing that before. We've got 32 on Twitch, 92 on YouTube, and two on Facebook. On my last stream, because of that, um, because of that raid from uh, Trucker Dylan, I had more people on Twitch than on YouTube. But usually, yeah, 92 YouTube, 32 Twitch, and two lonely people on Facebook. How long are you going to stream? Uh, not too much longer, actually. I think um, we're gonna start coming to the end of this. I'm gonna have a quick ride around, and then I have to pick my kids up from, uh, from school anyway, so. It was cool to catch you live for the first time since I found your channel. Oh, good. Thanks for coming out. Um, I hope to get back to streaming again. It's just a time commitment. Next week I'm actually going to be on holiday, so no streams then. Because I'll be with the kids all day. White tree. Anyone want to bet what this one is called? Let's see. Let's see what this one is called. What is the white tree called? It's called Summer Moon, and it is apparently made of painted white aluminum. I am very surprised that it didn't say tree anywhere in it, and in fact, it said moon. So, okay. <laughs> I guess the white moon makes the trees white. Let's go with that. All right, I'm gonna take a little ride here. Uh, there's a little bit more out out to be art uh, out to be seen um, down Minervalon. So we're gonna head back that way to Minervalon. We are currently on Apollo Lawn in Amsterdam outside. about that in a future live stream, exactly. Come on, YouTube. There you go. All right. I wonder how far 5G will reduce buffering artifacts. Uh, one of the, is this near VU? No. One of the challenges of 5G is that it has extremely short range, which is why it needs so many towers compared to uh, 4G LTE. So I'm not actually sure if it will be good for live streaming because with live streaming, the biggest thing is that you need constant connectivity as you move. Okay, here they're doing um, a demolition of this building off to the right. So here's their solution for cyclists. This would normally be car parking and they've taken it away. Oh, it's really bumpy. Oh my God. Uh, it's better than being hit by a car. Uh, just not gonna look at the chat for a bit while I get to where I'm going. Actually, I'll show you the demolition of this building. I went by it. Oh wow, they've done a lot since the last time I was here.
anyone know what they're going to be building here? That used to be an office building. I was actually worried you wouldn't be able to see that demolition on screen, but that's actually the view, field of view is so wide that it's like looks like it's far away. Alright, let's get moving. This is shaping up to be my least interesting live stream of all time. We could easily see the full sculpture in the park as well, yeah. It's a very, very wide field of view on this camera. Uh, so this is the Art Zoud, uh, like, I don't know, lobby area. <laughs> and they've got like snacks and this is where you can buy your three euro map that I lost. Lots of statues along here. This is also a nice street. This street, Minervalon, is unreasonably expensive. When we were looking at properties, if an apartment would come up here, it would be this old apartment that was like, you know, 80 years old, tiny. And, and going for like more than a million euros. Like it, but like housing prices are crazy in Amsterdam, but it's even crazy for Amsterdam. It's like people just really want to live here along the Nervalon, even in a crappy old apartment, which was so surprising to me. Pickle. Giant metal pickle. Odes out is unreasonably expensive everywhere. Yeah, I disagree. Minervalan is even more expensive than the rest of Odes out. It's bizarre. Like you can go, get a place one block away that is identical in every way and it would be cheaper. If money wasn't a problem, where would you want to live? <laughs> I have no idea. I, don't, I wouldn't want to live here because we did live here in a rental when we first moved here. It's just too quiet. I want shops and stuff nearby. is carved into wood. Why is housing crisis going on in pretty much every major city on the planet? Um, there are various reasons, but it's mostly not enough supply for demand as Aidan Collins says, one of the big issues is that after the 2008 financial crisis, a bunch of developers went into business, basically every project got stopped, and we're now seeing the issues of the lack of housing from that time catching up to us. It also doesn't help that things are urbanizing, people want to live in cities more than they ever have before, all of these things together. Um, and then, of course, low interest rates makes real estate a great investment, which doesn't help at all either, because then people are using real estate as an investment opportunity instead of a place to live, which is just a freaking mess. Okay.
If upzoning is being proposed as a solution to the housing crisis in the U.S., why are high-density European cities experiencing housing crisis? It has nothing to do with density. It has everything to do with supply. The supply is being constrained by a lack of building for years due to the financial crisis and the fact that housing is being used as an investment. But even then, when housing is being used as an investment, it's often being rented out, so it's not as much of an effect as you would think. So there's a guy I used to go to school with called Mike Moffat. You can follow him on Twitter. He has like twice as many followers as me. Um, and he's an economist who's actually an expert in this stuff. So follow him on Twitter if you want more information about housing crisis. He's got phenomenally good information. Sorry, just checking the chat. Anyway, I think we're kind of coming to the end of it here. I know that this Arts Out continues into um, Saudas. I think I'll ride down a little ways to see if there's anything um, really worthwhile. But I'm going to cap off the stream very shortly. Test seems to be successful. It didn't have horrible quality. A few things I want to fix, but it's all right. I have to see if I can improve the lag going to YouTube because YouTube lag seems really bad right now. That might just be YouTube though. Any canals nearby? There are always canals nearby. I'll bring you down to the closest canal. And, uh, and that's where we'll finish off for today. Oh yeah, the market is here. It's uh, Friday, right? This is a posh little market that's here every Friday. This junction has appeared in my videos a few times, in the older ones, because uh, in rush hour, this is bonkers with the number of cyclists coming through to go to work down at Zaudas, which is the financial district. A mechanical stabilizer for the camera would be nice. Um, I've tried every mechanical stabilizer you can imagine and nothing will work on a bicycle. I actually have a whole drawer of mechanical stabilizers that didn't work. It is a lot harder to stabilize on a bicycle than you think. So mostly you have to rely on the in-camera stabilization. Is there a tram coming through for the big finish though? Not today. <sighs> Gotta fix that bell, I'm rattling. Actually, everything's rattling today. <laughs> Time to renew the zip ties. So here's the closest canal, right here. stream without a tram. <laughs> Maybe we could still get a tram. All right, let's see. Is that camera still in an angle, even when I put the kickstand on? Man, YouTube is really lagged today. It is still a bit on an angle. All right, it's a bit better. It's not that bad, though. Signal drop reconnecting, it's complaining. Nice. All right. <clears throat> Let's go find a tram so we can finish this off. There's trams down at Zaudas. And then I should go get my kids from school. Because my youngest can't yet cycle home on his own. 
my oldest can. <laughs> I love seeing kids having fun on bikes. Uh, even more posh village. Yes, you're right. This, these, these houses are unbelievably expensive. We were down here once during my missing middle video recording, and I think somebody was saying they're like seven or eight million and up. Uh, so this is Zardos down here. It's the financial district, major train station, and this is where we're going to end off. So let me just find a convenient place to pull over. You can watch the trams go by up on that bridge up there, because the car traffic is totally separated from bike and pedestrian traffic here. And here we are. Don't know when it started working. The map is showing the right location now. Yeah, I was, uh, that uses an app on my phone, but you can see it in the uh, YouTube description, what app it uses. All right, everybody, thanks for joining um, on a bit of a test stream, but at least we got to see some art. So that was something. Kind of lend it off as soon as we get a tram. I really like this area. I know some Dutch people don't because it's very modern, but um, to me, Zaudas here in in um, Amsterdam is an example. Hey, tram is an example of how to do uh, modern walkable neighborhoods. There's your tram. <laughs> I love the subtle advertisement of swap feats on the left. Yeah, they should be paying me. <laughs> thanks everyone and thanks for joining. Who do we have now? 32 on Twitch, 92 on YouTube, and those lonely two on Facebook. But that's enough for me today. Hopefully there'll be more streams in the future, though I'm on holiday for a little bit. It's just hard getting out, especially since I need to wait for it and it's not raining too.